Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another SPL game. Uh, today we have a week 3 game, or SOU, between CBB and Axel 10. Uh, should be a really good game, uh, two really solid players. And uh, yeah, CBB's been my favorite player to watch so far this SPL, uh, just because he's been playing so well. So hopefully we see another really good game here. Uh, looking at the teams before they pick their leads, uh, I'm pretty sure Axel's team, this is the same team that he brought last week, except for the Suicune was changed out for Tornadus, which I definitely agree with because his team last week was really weak to Specs Keldeo. The only switch in was like, a scarf lottie that didn't would probably didn't have any sort of recovery so um he fixes that i guess by going with the uh the av av torn over the coon um we'll see the other sets could also be changed too uh, so i don't want to speculate on those too much but uh cbb brings rain which is interesting because rain and ORS isn't nearly as good as like what it, what it is in sun moon um but it looks like he has a fairly good matchup because like Kingdra just rails him, and Swampert doesn't have switch-ins either. So I think he made a good uh, good call here. It looks like, yeah, rain, the two rain abusers don't really have switch-ins on Exoten's side. Um, obviously, Pert's going to have Ice Punch to hit the Latios, or Latios and um, yeah, the, that's the only water resist on the team. So King and Kingdra could obviously Oko that with Dragon Move, and then um, the water moves from Kingdra are just going to obliterate everything else in the rain. So lead off with the Tornadus on the, the Politoed. So the Politoed, like I said, is, um, or no, I mean the Tornadus is pretty much, I think, going to be AV. So he knocks off, yeah, and it's, we actually see it's Specs Toad, which is interesting because, uh, I would assume it would have just been Damp Rock, but the fact that it was Specs means that, uh, there's probably going to be Rain Dance on Pert, and the Rocks are probably going to be on the Pharaoh, right? Because, um, just having a Specs, a Specs Drizzle is not, like, uh, I don't think that's reliable enough for your weather setting. So I feel like, um, unless, if you're not using Damp Rock, you probably want some other member to be having Rain Dance, which I would assume is the Pert. Uh, but yeah, there's a, uh, the Hydra actually did a lot to AV Torn, but I think now uh, Axel definitely just throw off a Hurricane because CBB doesn't have a Flying Resist. Um, so I assume he's just going to Hurricane. The thing is, alright, so I'm sure this Toad eats one. So if CBB doesn't care about the health, his health or the the health on this thing too much, he could just stay in and either ice beam or fish for scald burn. Uh, but yeah, I think Axel will probably just click Hurricane here. Um, I don't think that ice beam would kill because Hydro in the rain probably does about the same as what an ice beam would, right? Because one it's one ten power plus stab plus weather, and then trying to think actually might do more i think the hydro would do more than the ice beam i'm not positive but yeah okay so we just hurricane it does nothing what it did nothing um <laughs> so obviously cbb made the right play there by staying in and just scalding it gets the burn which is really key because if uh, hazards ever go up now the tornadus is never going to be able to regen its health back because of the um like rocks plus burn or whatever would be doing more than what regen gets back with the nice burn mechanics and ors but yeah so now Axel probably wants to switch out here because if he stays in and Hurricanes um, and CBB switches out, the yeah, see, because what would happen is the Torn would die to burn. And, like, let's say if CBB went Jellicent there, the Jellicent could heal up on other stuff, but the Tornadus would just die for nothing. So that's why he switches out. CBB reads that Scalds. Um, losing a Toad, I guess, would suck, but as long as he has Rain Dance on something else, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world, so that's why, yeah, he stays in Skulls, predicting the switch, uh, Axel not wanting to lose his Tornadus, so see the double, um, or, yeah, double into Latios, because, uh, because <laughs> Clef took 55 million from Scald and would have died to the pump, so he was forced into the Latios, uh, if this Latios is not Scarf, yeah, okay, so it goes for Roost, the Latios last week was Scarf, though, so now I would assume that the, the Landers is the Scarf for this week for Axel, and uh, this Latios is probably like Life Orb or something like that. So uh, that was switched in. Switch, this actually switches in okay to the. Uh, this switches in good to the Toad. Probably switches in okay to the Swampert. But I mean, Ice Punch will still 2 KO in rain. Uh, but if you could get it in on one of the other moves, it might be able to live. Like, like if you get it in on an Earthquake, it'll be able to eat up Ice Punches and uh, threaten it out. And it's able to keep itself healthy with Roost. So at least there's something going for Axel. But it's still a really hard matchup, I feel like. Uh, I would assume that Jellicent's going to taunt here. So if I was Axel, I'd probably just double into Magnezone. Um, yeah, but he just tries to stay in, what, get up rocks. Yeah, I mean, taunt was free for CBB, and it's pretty standard on Jellicent. Uh, just because, like, what is, like, even if the Clef Moonblasted, it's not going to do anything to the Jellicent. So I, I feel like CBB was always just going to click taunt there. And I felt like Axel could have used that, tried to capitalize on that turn, going to, like, zone. 
but yeah, now CBB is just going to, yeah, okay, he, I didn't know if he'd be Hex or Scald. Scald is obviously another option too because it has the rain support. Um, but we just see Hex come out. It actually does a lot to Clefable. Um, and the Moonblast does nothing. So now Axel's going to be forced out here. Uh, not Probably not wanting to lose the Clef because he wants to get rocks up at some point. Uh, that'll help against CBB's Tornadus. Also, um, I think the Polyto only has a couple switch-ins left if rocks go up. Because it took the Hurricane and the knockoff. I'm pretty sure it's at like 30-something. So if rocks go up, you're going to limit that thing's switch-ins. CBB... On top of it, though, reads that goes hard pert like a lord. So now Axel's in a bad spot because he doesn't have switch-ins to this uh, at all. I think CBB, uh, I wouldn't click Earthquake just because I, there's no way Axel's staying in because he needs this for the Ferrothorn. Otherwise, the Gross gets walled by that. Um, and the Latios also gets walled by that. So he needs this to trap the Ferrothorn. So I feel like he's never going to stay in. So CBB um, can either... I. I don't think Rain Dance gets you much. If there are rocks on this, he could go for rocks. But like I said, I'm assuming that this is a Rain Dance. It would be my first impression because it was Specs Toad. And rocks are probably on Pharaoh. So he does just go for Waterfall. Obviously agree with that play. Um, now, I would assume that this, like I said, this Lando, yeah, it is Scarf. Or, yeah, definitely Scarf Lando because it wasn't Scarf Latio. So what else? Yeah, this has to be Scarf. But now that the thing's intimidated, he could probably go into his uh, Latios. I would assume it takes two ice punches if the if the uh, perts intimidated. Maybe not. I I don't know the calc for sure, but um, I think Latios is the play here anyway. Like what else? You're not switching anything else to in, into the pert. So uh, he does go Latios on the EQ. I guess CBB was trying to yeah maybe predict uh, I don't know what like Metagross coming in on ice punch or something. Yeah, I guess. Um, but yeah, I thought. Latios was always his play there. Now I could just Draco, but the Pharaoh comes in, eats that up really well, and now the Latios is forced out. It is Life Orb. The thing is that now there's the, the mind games with the Magnezone in the back, right? So CBB could try and make a double that covers um, Magnezone. Uh, the thing is, though, like the Latios is at minus two, so um, even if Axel stays in predicting the double and Draco's again, it's not going to do that much to anything. He goes Toad, gets up the rain. Uh, so if he did Draco again, I'm pretty sure it would kill the Toad. So that would have um, that would have been a cool play. Like, I didn't think CBB was going to let this thing get trapped this early because, um, he, like I said, the Pharaoh's what switches into the Metagross and it also switches into the Latios. So you want to keep that alive to take some hits. Uh, so now, I, just, I don't know if... Is Toad... F I don't even know. I don't know to Toad speed tier, so I'm not going to comment on this. Um, also, it could be Scarf Zone. I think last week it was Specs, but... Um, or it wasn't, at least it wasn't Scarf because it was outsped by a Gengar. But um, this week it could be Scarf, so CBB probably doesn't want to risk that anyway. Because he does get, this, does get um, the Pert in on a T-Bolt. And now something's probably going to die. I think CBB just clicks Waterfall 100% and just gets a kill. So we see the Landers sect, which I think is fine. I don't think Landers was doing much this game uh, because it's outsped by both uh, sweeper, both of uh, CBB sweepers under the rain. Um, and it doesn't really beat like torn and doesn't really beat pharaoh i don't it didn't really i don't think yeah it wasn't it, it, it was pretty useless this match i feel so uh, i think that's a fine sack he goes into gross now cbb's probably going to go into his ferrothorn it just goes hard kingdra like a don on zen head but that does still does a lot though um i think this play covered double into magnezone and it also covered i mean and it would live a hit so i think that was a fine play um but yeah, I, CBBs, I'm probably afraid to go Pharaoh there because the potential double into Magnezone. Even though Rain's up, so like Zone is, would have some trouble beating the Pharaoh anyway. Um, but yeah, now we're just going to probably see a Scald come out. or I mean Surf, yeah, not Scald. Obviously, these, these run Surf, Hydro, Draco, Ice Beam usually. Um, Surf got a kill there, so f fine. Um, that's a dead Torn. So now the, um, the Gross comes back out. I think CBB could... He has a couple plays here. He could sack Politoed and then just come back in with his goons. Or, yeah, or go into Ferrothorn. Uh, but this puts you in the mind games again of the Magnezone coming back out. So, I still think rocks are an option now. At this point in the game, I don't think you need Ferrothorn because I think your Rain Sweepers kill everything. So, if I'm CBB, I'd consider just rocking here and sacking this. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think he needs it that, that badly. Uh, especially if there's Rain Dance on Pert. Um, but we just see double back into Toad, Don, um, and I think CBB, like I said, this this could be Scarf Zone, so I think Axel will probably just click 
of uh, Thunderbolt again. CBB doubles or goes into Jellicent, uh, dies to T Bolt. Uh, and now we go Kingdra and just claim kills by clicking Surf. Uh, I think Latios, uh, this is going to die. Yeah, then he goes Latios because Latios will live one. Um, it's still going to do a lot though. I would assume it would get, it would have gotten to a KO'd from 80%. You couldn't switch it in. So now, um, I think CBB wants to go Pharaoh here. I guess Exile 10 could uh, double into Magnezone, but either way, CBB is in a good position. Especially, like I said, uh, he's doing a good job making sure the Politoed stays alive. Like, he doesn't need health on it. Like I said, I mentioned this before. He just needs to keep it alive so it could pivot in when rain runs out. Uh, I don't think as long as he keeps that alive, I don't think he could lose because, uh, like I said, Pert and Kingdra just kill everything. So, uh, I think CBB could... Once again, maybe get rocks up here. I said that the last time it was in two. I still think... Oh, it's going to die to two Dracos, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't see the damage on the first Draco. But yeah, without the leftovers, he is able to get two a KO'd. It goes Torn. I'm sure that CBB is just going to click U-Turn here. Um, or Knock. I would just U-Turn, I think. Oh, ta oh, it's Taunt. That makes sense, too, because you keep it in range of uh, Swampert's Ice Punch. Because what's going to happen here is now that the... Um, so now that the Latios is at, at like what is it 60 it's at 60 percent uh all he has to do is sack toad and then go into swampert and swampert wins the game right now because the latios wasn't able to heal off um all right so he just goes hard pert this works too if it's rain dance but yeah i was thinking uh sack polytoad go pert and then just win but this works too if this has a uh, rain dance so he's just gonna rain dance here and i think the game is gonna end because uh like i said the latios was not able to recover up which is why uh cbb went into the torrent first to taunt to make sure this thing stayed in ice punch range it's a really cool play so yeah rain dance ice punch is gonna come out here and kill uh the latios and then the last two members died at earthquake so uh, good game by CBB. I definitely think he had a bit of a matchup advantage just because, yeah, Axel had one water resist, and yeah, it's not a it's a water resist, but it's not a rain resist in Latios. So, yeah, overall though, yeah, fun game to watch. Like I said, you don't see um, you don't see rain very often in Oras. Cool to see something different. Also, kind of funny to see CBB bringing Jellicent two games in a row. That's really funny to me, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice Pat Lop special there. But yeah, we get the nice 4-0 uh, win for CBB. 3-0 and now in, in uh, SPL. So the comeback is strong. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure, I think Doc is probably going to have the score of this week. Uh, I know CBB's on Cryos. I think Axel 10 is on, who is it? What, what, who's he on? I don't remember. Oh, we'll wait. Doc's going to show it. But um, yeah, that'll do it there with the Earthquake on the Magnezone. So a fun game to watch for sure. And nice offensive teams from both. That's why I like ORS so much right now. There's like none of the... Oh, I hate Sun Moon so much. Sun Moon OU sucks. So there's all The other Sun Moon tiers are fun. I just... I hate OU. ORS OU though, that's the shit right now. So yeah, here it is. Alright, so it's Cryos versus my man BTB Stark Sharks. Looks like uh, he's trying to carry the team this week because nobody else could win. Because uh, CBB now makes a 4-1 for Cryos uh, up to this point. I'm sure... Like, I know the week's over now. I don't know what it finished at, but you guys are probably just going to have to stay tuned for more coverage uh, if you... Don't check out on your own time who won the weeks. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.